Uh, this slide here is a bit of a, it's really just uh, for completeness, it's not so important in the cosmic scheme of things. Um, you remember in the homework, I used a flat background for the Higgs. And in fact, I gave you too much background because that flat background was at the flat at the value at 110 GV, whereas it's uh, significantly reduced um, by about 25% when it's actually observed at 126. Um, <clears throat> but uh, if, you, if you look at some of my initial plots, I actually had a sloping background. Uh, but it's not quite trivial to get a sloping background because um, Python doesn't clearly give you a random number generator for a sloping distribution. However, these are four magic commands here, which illustrate both the power of random numbers and the power of Python, give you a sloping distribution. Uh, so we start off here. Base equals 110 plus 30 times a random number, which is our uniform distribution of masses within 110 and 140. Now we have here sloping equals base of index, which is our final answer, which is a set of masses between 110 and 140 with a, a linear dependence on the, the, mean, the mean number of events, thus, which decreases by a factor of two as we go from 110 to 140. And that is done by here, some magic of statistics, and here by some magic of Python. So the index uh, uh, statement, the third red statement, uh, takes this function 1 minus a half into base minus 110 over 30. What, what's that? 1 minus a half times that uh, linear the function of base. That is something which starts off at 1 at 110. And if I plug in 140, I get a half. So this is a linear function starting at 1 and ending up at a half. And that's what I really wanted my um, mean value of events to, to follow as a function of mass. So what I do there is I take an index and then I compare it with a set of 42,000 random numbers. And I do this, remember this one, we have 42,000 values here. These are the, we have 42,000 ones here, so every value of base is paired to a new random number. And we calculate index, and index is only true if this function is bigger than the random number. And then we take all those true indices and put them into uh, we uh, put them into as an index of base, and then we get sloping. So this is a magic of Python. Very few languages would do this, um, and it's not even quite clear what it's doing. But uh, it's a pretty it's a magic instruction which allows us to easily select from the, all the forty two thousand uh, um, events a subset, which are the subset which satisfy this condition here. And what does this condition, what's its feature? Well, what's the chance that you would actually have this function 1 minus a half base minus 110 over 30 bigger than the random number? Well, uh, this is a number between 1 and a half. It has to be bigger than a random number. The random number is between 0 and 1. So you can see that this uh, inequality will be satisfied with a probability, because this function here is between 0 and 1, so this will be satisfied with a probability which is just given by this function. So that says that we're taking the values of in base, those are values of mass, we're calculating this function, and we're only keeping a fraction of them which satisfy this, um, this, uh, this inequality, and we're doing that in a perfectly unbiased random fashion. And we're doing it in such a way that the fraction of um, numbers that pass this condition are, are uh, distributed with this linear dependence. So we will now get a sloping distribution if we now plot sloping. That's shown here. So that corresponds to plotting that sloping um, uh, variable. And you can see it as, as we said, it starts here and it goes down to roughly half its value at uh, 140. So that's how sloping was gotten. 